Hey guys, welcome back to Techogram. Today we are going to learn the concept of dynamic memory allocation in C. So let's get started. In this video, we will take an example of an array which we will create dynamically and we will store data into it. Then we will display it and also the sum. First, the header file. So the basic header file in C, you do not need header file in C, it will always include by itself but um, for the information you should know what type of header files are needed. So the standard input output header file. Now we have to start the void main and in the void main what you need first we will need element to get the info from the user that how many elements are we going to save in the array then we will need an another variable for the loop then a pointer because a pointer variable is used to create the dynamic memory first we will need the we will need an integer data type our first variable is n we will store the total number of elements which will require in n then a i this i is for the for loop which we will be using in our array then we will need a pointer variable so the pointer variable starts from star and this is the variable you can use whatever you want and then sum and i will initialize it to zero now we can clear the screen now what you have to do first we will ask from the user that how many element the user want to enter so write printf enter number of elements and then we will save this in our n so our n is an integer so d emphasis n because suppose the user has entered 5 in n so we need to create a space for 5 integer values so how to create that we will use our pointer variable and the formula to create dynamic memory in our memory first you have to specify the data type which is integer here then we have to use the malloc method and in malloc we have to calculate the size which we will require so the size will be multiplied by n multiply size of which is a function data type so suppose the size of the n is 5 and the size of the integer is 2 then the 5 multiplied by 2 will be 10 and 10 spaces will be allocated in the memory now what we will do we have to use our for loop for creating the array so we will start our for loop and we will initialize the i to 0 so the i will start from 0 and it should be less than n means it should be less than the number which is entered by the user then we have to use the increment now what you have to do just we have to scan f all the elements into our array so all the elements are of integer data type and that will be saved in our because ptr is our pointer variable and our array will be i so now this sentence means that the the i is zero so the first value will be saved in ptr i so if the size of the array is 5 then there will be 0 1 2 3 4 so 5 total blocks and the first will be saved in ptr 0 now what you can do you can directly write here sum equals to sum plus ptr i so whenever a new data will be entered it will be automatically added to the previous sum so the first sum will be 0 so 0 plus suppose we have entered 1 so it will become 1 and then the next time this cycle will keep on after that we can write printf the element r we'll clear the screen here so that all the previous input will be get cleared and now elements r now what you have to do you have to just use the same for loop so you can copy paste directly we will have to use this so we will copy and paste here so this will be get paste here and now what you have to change you have to write because we are not getting input we have to print the data so write printf and this m person will not be required and also this sum line will not be required and now you can see we have created two for loop this one is for taking the data from the user and this one is to show the data to, you, to the user now this is our input for loop and this is our display for loop and then the last thing which we have to display is the sum so i print f sum of the array is and then we can print the sum and now we can write the get cs to hold the screen for output and close you should always save your programs before compiling them we will name it array dynamic because if any error happen then your program will be saved so now we will run the program if there will be an error found i will show you how to rectify it so there is an error undefined symbol printf printf so yeah you can see i have returned the printf wrong now again save this 
and run the program. Number of element we will write four. Then it will ask for the elements. So write one, two, three, and four. And you can see the elements are one, two, three, four, and the sum of the array is ten. So four plus three plus two plus one will be ten. And you can see this output is a little messed up. So what you can do, you can use the manipulators slash n and slash t. to make the output look a little bit better so we will write a slash t here then a slash t here so slash t is for tab and slash n is for new line now you can see i have written a slash t and slash n in most of the places where we have to Uh, provide the output now we will run the program once again now you can see that there is space between the elements and the cursor so we will do the same thing we will use four and now the elements are 1 2 3 and 4 and now sum of the array is 10 and the elements are 1 2 3 4 this is how you can use the dynamic memory allocation method in c hope you like the video if you like the video press the like button if you have any question comment query suggestion leave it in the comment box subscribe for more bye